Today I have a short video for you about fun fitness rewards. Yay! I feel like America, especially in general, has a huge issue with rewarding ourselves with food. And it just doesn't make sense to me. So, like, you get the job and then you go out and eat dinner of fried food or something that's not so great or you get an A in the class or you have a good concert like if you play an instrument or you do great in your sports game and then you like go out and get ice cream and I used to do that so it definitely has its place and it's fun if it's rare but I feel like we consistently do it with every little thing so then we're kind of doing it all the time and especially if you're trying to lose weight and be healthier it just doesn't make sense. Like, you just did something awesome in your life and accomplished something great, and then you're going to go and put junk in your body and make it unable to work as it should, and you're giving it stuff that has no nutrition and isn't going to help you be a better person. It just kind of seems a little like, what was the point of that? So today I'm going to talk to you about fun things that you can do instead of food to reward yourself. And it doesn't have to be just if you're trying to get a fitness goal. It could also be you just want to be a healthier person. And so you kind of realize it's kind of weird that you're like rewarding yourself with food. We're not dogs, okay? You're not a dog. You don't need to reward yourself with treats. Or as Blizzy calls them, Scooby Snacks. Well, he doesn't call them that, I do. Whatever. Um, but it's kind of, if you kind of just want to, you think that's a good idea, then there's some ideas that I have for you that would be fun and just kind of a better option. You know what I mean? Okay, so first of all, um, activities you could do, you could like go bowling or if there's something that you and your family really like to do as an activity that's not fruit, food related, you could do that. You could go to the movies and not get the concession stand food. Um, if you feel like you need to have a snack, bring something in that's like a healthy snack that you can just kind of munch on. Um, you're not really supposed to do that and I don't condone it. However people do it, and I think it's better than eating popcorn and pretzels and whatever. Um, you could do a night at home where you pamper yourself, and you could just, like, do a nice deep conditioner in your hair, take a bath, paint your nails, um, anything that you think is, like, fun. Do a face mask. Um, you could do all that kind of stuff. You could go to a comedy show. You could go to a sports game. You could go to a concert. Um, there's just a bunch of different ideas of things that you can do instead of just getting food. Even small things like taking a trip, a short trip to where you can like see stars really pretty. I know where I live you can't really see that many stars, but you don't have to drive too far to see them. So even doing that, um, you also, something really fun that you can do is get yourself a goal jar. So this is not what I use my jar for. But if you're this type of person, it would be great for it. So you can either get it any kind of jar, any kind of shape. Um, you can fill it with pebbles at the bottom or not, depending on what you want to do. Um, you can get ribbon and tie it around to make a bow. You can get stickers at, like, Michael's. And um, you can, like, write gold jar on it or whatever you want to do. And make up a dollar amount. So it can be $50, $75, $100, whatever number you want to do. And then every time you work out, you put a dollar into the jar. You could do less if you don't want to do a dollar a day, but you're giving it to yourself, and it's money you would have spent somewhere else anyway. So you put a dollar into the jar, and then once you hit that dollar amount, you take that money and you go get yourself a new outfit or get yourself, get your nails done, get your hair did. You know what I'm saying? Like something that is... A fun thing for you, something that you would have wanted to do anyway, but doesn't have to do with food. Um, that would be really fun. Another thing you can do if you really like visually seeing stuff is getting two jars. I'm going to insert a picture somewhere. Maybe this area. <laughs> um, you can get two jars, and one jar is empty. The other one has pebbles in it of as many like pounds that you want to lose, basically. And every time you lose a pound, you move it from the full jar to the empty jar. And you're kind of showing like, this is how many, like this is how much weight I've lost so far. And then you can eventually see 
you know, the full jar getting lower as you're losing weight. Um, I would say not to get completely wrapped up in that because it should be about working out to be healthy and um, it should be feeding your body things that fuel it and all that. And I don't want you to become obsessed about the number because it should never be about the number. And if it is, it's not going to last. You're probably going to do it in an unhealthy way to get there just because you're so focused on the way you look. And the way you look is not who you are. You are who God says you are. You are who the good person inside of you. That's who you are. What you look like has nothing to do with it. So... Um, that's kind of a fun way to like see that you're losing, um, especially if you are quite big or starting out bigger, kind of like I was. For the first couple months, you're losing weight, but you kind of really see it that much because there's so much to lose. So it's kind of nice to see with that, like you're still making pro progress or, you know, look how much progress you've made so far. That's awesome. It's a little bit of like a motivating, like, look how far I've come already. Like, I can do this. I've got this. So those are just some fun ideas. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas of your own, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Also, stay tuned for next month because we're going to go into beauty. And you can see I got this hair. Just kidding. It's natural. You, I can't really show you how to do it. Um, uh, but we're going to go into beauty, so we're going to be talking about hair and makeup and whatever is beauty related. All right.